good news for the high country, where that lack of snow so far can have a serious economic impact. Our Alan Janae live tonight in Summit County. And Alan, those mountain communities rely heavily on winter tourism. Well, no doubt about that, Jim. We're here at the Eisenhower Johnson Tunnels tonight, where it is snowing, albeit lightly. Temperatures about 22 degrees, but it should be at this time of year. Down the hill in Dillon, they've had only 13.5 inches of snow so far. That's less than 60% of average at this time of year. Now, if this is the beginning of a turnaround, it will end a dry run that's meant fire in December, as well as a lot of concern. Cold weather wandered into Summit County, but snow fell so lightly it was hard to identify as it blew around lazily near Lake Dillon. We're going to have a mass start. At the Frisco Nordic Center, kids had a go. They never got out of sight. This is all the snow there is. It would have been our hope. We've been doing our snow dances, but uh, so far... All man-made. But even in the darkness, they kept at it. Pete Swenson runs the Nordic Center. You know, 500 meters. Counting the out and back. A half a kilometer of man-made they've been resourceful enough to create. Usually there's a lot more. We would have nearly 30 kilometers if we were fully open. The warmth hasn't helped. Even at 9,000 feet here, we're only able to make snow for two to four hours a night. In town at the Frisco Lodge, it's not very busy. This is not an early snowstorm. No, either. this is not an early snowstorm. Owner Susan Wentworth is not talking it up. If the snow conditions aren't good, I don't tell people, oh gosh, come to Colorado because it's wonderful, because it isn't. It's another night of dusting without much you can do about it. You have to roll with the punches because it's the weather and you cannot change the weather. You sure do. Now, with the colder temperatures, they do hope to be able to make more snow. Frisco hopes to open its tubing hill next week. But they're expecting tourists as usual. In less than two weeks, they believe the Christmas season will start with a lot of people expecting a lot of snow. In Summit County, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First. All right, Alan.